Ever wondered how the Smirch of India compares to the M142 HIMARS of the USA? Well, you're in for a treat. Let's start by introducing our contenders. On one hand, we have India's Smirch, a formidable multiple rocket launcher system boasting a 300 mm caliber. This beast can reach targets up to 56 miles away, packing a punch with a payload of up to 264 pounds. On the other hand, we have the USA's M142 HIMARS, don't be fooled by its smaller 227 mm caliber. This powerhouse can hit targets over three times as far away with an impressive payload of up to 375 pounds. Both systems have their strengths and weaknesses and we'll be comparing them head to head. From range and payload to guidance systems, mobility and cost, we've got it all covered. Now let's delve deeper into the specifications of each system. First up, we have the Smirch from India. This rocket artillery system is quite the heavy hitter, boasting a caliber of 300 millimeters or about 12 inches. It's capable of lobbing warheads a respectable distance with a maximum range of up to 90 kilometers or around 56 miles. The payload of the Smirch is not to be overlooked either. It can carry a warhead weighing anywhere between 72 to 120 kilograms. That's about 158 to 264 pounds. That's a lot of firepower packed into each rocket. Guiding these rockets to their target is an inertial navigation system, enhanced with GPS correction. This system provides the Smirch with the precision it needs to deliver its payload accurately. The Smirch's launch vehicle is an 8x8 Tatra truck chassis, a robust and reliable platform for this artillery system. This system can fire off around every 20 seconds and it takes between 20 to 30 minutes to reload. As for crew requirements, the Smirch is operated by a team of three to four personnel. This team is responsible for everything from driving the vehicle to launching the rockets and reloading the system. And that's an impressive set of specs, but how does it compare to the M142 HIMARS? Next, we have the M142 HIMARS from the USA. Housed in a high-mobility 6x6 FMTV truck chassis, the HIMARS boasts a caliber of 227 millimeters. With this, it can launch a payload that ranges between 198 to 375 pounds, packing a serious punch. Diving deeper into its capabilities, the HIMARS displays an impressive range of up to 186 miles. That's over three times the distance of the Smirch system. This long reach is made even more lethal by its advanced guidance system. Using GPS-aided inertial navigation, the HIMARS can pinpoint its targets with remarkable precision. When it comes to the rate of fire, the HIMARS is a rapid responder. It can fire around every 10 seconds, doubling the speed of the Smirch. Furthermore, it trumps the Smirch in reload time with a quick five to 10 minutes reload window. The HIMARS operates with a lean crew of three, emphasizing efficiency in its design. This focus on speed and efficiency makes it an ideal choice for rapid response operations. Yet it's not just about firepower and speed. The HIMARS is designed to be highly adaptable. It's modular by design, allowing for seamless integration with other systems and platforms. Both systems have their strengths. Now let's look at the key differences between the two. On paper, both systems seem quite capable, but how do they stack up against each other in practice? First, let's talk about range and payload. The M142. HIMARS, with its ability to reach up to 300 kilometers and carry a heavier payload, clearly outperforms the Smirch in this aspect. This lends HIMARS a significant advantage for deep strike missions, allowing it to reach further and hit harder. However, it's not just about reaching out and touching someone, it's also about hitting the target accurately. Both systems employ GPS-aided inertial navigation, but the HIMARS boasts a more advanced guidance system. This translates to more precise targeting, a crucial factor in achieving mission success. But what about when the rubber meets the road? Or more accurately, when the rocket leaves the launcher? Here we see another area where HIMARS shines. With a faster rate of fire and shorter reload time, it's designed for rapid deployment and quick response. It's the hare to Smirch's tortoise. On the flip side, the Smirch requires a larger crew and more time to reload, which can slow down its operational tempo. But let's not forget that the Smirch is reportedly less expensive to produce and maintain than HIMARS. For countries with limited defense budgets, affordability is a crucial consideration. And finally, let's talk about adaptability. 
The HIMARS is designed to be more modular and adaptable with easier integration with other systems and platforms. This makes it a more flexible option capable of meeting a variety of operational requirements. So, what's the bottom line? Both systems have their strengths and weaknesses. The HIMARS offers superior range, firepower and responsiveness. While the Smirsh provides a more affordable solution with a solid performance, it's important to remember that the right choice depends on the specific operational requirements and strategic goals of each country. The Smirch system may be more suitable for India's needs, while the HIMARS system is designed to meet the USA's global power projection requirements. As we've seen, each system has its advantages and disadvantages, but what can we learn from this comparison? So what's the takeaway from all this? When we place the Smirch and the M142 HIMARS side by side, we see a fascinating comparison between two robust artillery systems. The HIMARS, with its extended range and heavier payload capacity, offers a significant advantage for deep strike missions. Its rapid deployment and quick response design make it well suited for dynamic, fast-paced operations. On the other hand, the Smirch, despite requiring more personnel and time to reload, offers an affordable option for nations with constrained defense budgets. It's also important to consider the strategic goals and operational requirements of each country. While the HIMARS is designed to support the USA's global power projection, the Smirch might be better suited for India's specific needs. Therefore, these differences in capabilities, cost and integration could significantly affect military strategy or defense procurement decisions. In the end, the best system is the one that meets the unique needs and goals of its operator, whether it's the Smirch or the M142 HIMARS. Each system has its place on the battlefield.